Hey, shalom and welcome to Rakaam Makapash from Jimmy Islam, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chach Wadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom Ahmed there to the hope for that to preach this truth and all sincerity. Back with another lesson, and I'm going to entitle this one uh, Undercover Brother. All right. You know, we know um, in, these, in these last times. Oh, I better hold on. Hold on. Yeah, just make sure I put my phone on silent, <laughs> right? But yeah, we know we all know in this, these these last last days, man, we're gonna have a uh, you know these evil times. We've got becoming in tribulation. We're gonna have um you know people that are gonna betray one another, right? In this last times, you know, bro, people we thought were brothers. You know, we know we got guys that have been set up in in these other other groups that are, are taking the bag, Esau's bag, and it's gonna set out the congregation in in the time to come. Right and you know, as I posted the hard mention with you know, Yohanna man, he he damn sure taking the back man. He he ready to set everybody out right. He down with the agenda, right. But another another guy that should be on that list of of, of suspects, yeah, is Nate from the IUIC, right? A dubious character, right? And you know, given that we know that he used to be a, a police officer, a detective, and whatever. You know, like he 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 fits he fits a uh, uh you know quite the criteria right to to be. Well, who said he's not a cop? Still, you know, <laughs> that's what I say. He could be undercover brother, man. In 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 these Israelite like groups, you know, in in IYC, you know, getting these you know guys all together, following this doctrine that's forced just to 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 the bag them up at the end, man. Just to to um. <laughs> arrest man at the end like you know and you have to be very wary of, of a character like this man because you know he fits this cult of personality and all types of stuff man he charismatic you know and all that business man but really people you know his congregation should be, should be suspect man should be uh, uh wary around you know a guy like this you know he ain't you know like I said he was back at the school the old school, right? Teaching Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, from what I understand, you know, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, right? The history, the history would be that he came a cop, he was a cop before or whatever, but so suddenly, you know, the names start disappearing, he starts changing the doctrines, you know, and it's just, it's just, it's just you know, it's just fishy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just fishy. Right. So yeah, you know, yeah, you should be you should be wary, man, because you you could have in in these last days people that do this, the false prophets, right? These false pastors, okay, that are leading their flock astray, right? And like I said, he got to be high up on the list, man. Okay, like I said, we already know with Johanna, man. He, you know, <laughs> you know, as evident, right? But um, but you know. IYC man, hey, the nah man, need to watch your boy, right? He might not be your brother, you know what I'm saying? He's just an undercover, right? Pretending to to be a Hebrew Israelite and all this business. Maybe he gave up. Maybe he gave up on that a long time ago. <laughs> Who knows, right? Maybe he just been sent in there to to infiltrate and to control, right? Hey, there are higher possibilities, man. It's not something that Esau doesn't do. Esau's doing doing that shit all the time. Okay, sending infiltrators, man, and, and getting people into position to control organizations. Right? That's why, you know, you all sign up to the 501c3. Whose decision was that? It's got to be your leaders, right? Everyone on the everyone on, on the on the list somewhere. All the, all the, all the information. You know, sensors and, and all that kind of business. Do you own do you own a gun? <laughs> all this type of shit. You know? I don't know, man. It, wouldn't make me feel comfortable, man. Let's put it that way. But um, let's just get into the scriptures, man. You know, because I say it don't, it don't apply just to guys like this, but even brothers in GMS, you know, you know, just you know, regular brothers, man. You you thought, you know, you thought your brother was down. You know, you're gonna have betrayers in in the in the faith, right? And so we have to be uh, circumspect. We have to be aware, you know. 
uh, you know, and you know, just understand that it's gonna happen, man. Yeah, you don't know where, you don't know when or where it's gonna happen, but you know, like it's been said before, man, there's, there's Judas is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So we we just gotta be prepared for that. You know, and Lord will, will reveal that in in due time. You know, but um, I'm gonna get this from Acts chapter twenty, verse twenty nine. Says for I know this. That after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock, right? And I say Nate, potentially one of them, right? You're on a damn sure one of them, <laughs> right? But um, but yeah, grievous wolves, man. Okay, uh, exploiting the flock or you know, destroying the flock, all right. It says, uh, also of your own selves shall men arise. So amongst our own selves, right? Speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Those that start feeling themselves, for instance. Like, you know, maybe the guys like Alazar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, all these offshoots, man, that, you know, were once under the banner, you know, of the truth. Okay, the 100% truth. It's like, yeah. And, um, you know, decide they want to do their own thing because they want to make a name for themselves. You know, people with, with egos, people with, with, you know, ambitions outside of this truth. You know, got to be careful with guys like that, man. You know, the ego's too big, the head's too big, you know, can't be humble. Got to be wary with guys like that, man. When, when, that, when that crunch time comes, man, they ain't going to they ain't gonna uh, do so well. You know? So also of your own self shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn every one, one night and day with tears. Okay, so that was the point, right? So yeah, in, in, these, in these times we have grievous wolves among us. Okay, brethren that you, th you think you're close to. You know, and, and this is why we got to watch brothers, you know, not, not to say, <laughs> not to say, um, you know, super... Um, uh, what's the word, man? Cautious is the right word, but there's another word I'm thinking of, man. You know, super suspicious. Like, uh, you know, not to act super suspicious with brothers all the, all the damn time, but hey, but we're here to to try the spirits. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we watch brothers. We see how they move and kind of thing. You know how they act and how they respond to certain adversities and, and stuff like that. Certain things that happen. And whatever are they diligent? Are they on point? Are they putting the effort, the time in? You know, you you watch them. You know, you just observe them. You know, and that'll give you an indicator of the character. You know, so let me grab this quickly. You know, verse First John chapter four verse one it says, "Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world." Right. So that's you know what you do, man. You just observe. You know. You don't, you don't, you don't just start, you know, treating everybody shady like, oh my god, it could be him, it could be him, like bare suspicious, like fucking, like you're playing like, Cluedo or something, <laughs> you know, murder mystery or whatever. Um, no, you just observe them, man. You know, you treat brothers with brotherly love all the time. You know, when rebuke has to come, it comes, and and you know that's all love too. Um, but you know, you treat people with you know that brotherly love, man. You know, until uh, until otherwise. You know, until otherwise, man. Um, so you just, you know, you observe brothers and you, you get a feel for their character and all of that. All right. This is Matthew 7 verse 15 says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving in wars. Right. And, and this is the thing like Nate and these types of guys, they, they put on the act, you know, man, a holy men. Right. And the holy men, man, they got the pristine garments. They got the the image. They got the image, you know, correct. You know, in terms of like you know, they got what appeals to people, right? They got it down on lock, right? And so you know, just like every other pastor in the world that dresses up in these slick suits and and you know become millionaires and shit, man, it's the same shit. But they're deceiving the congregation. They're not. They're not really feeding them with truth, right? They're leading them astray. Okay, these are not men in the Lord. Right, because they, they, you know, it's all about that. It's all about them and the image and all of that stuff, man. We're here. We're just, you know, we're, we're kind of rough around the edges, man. We're just about the truth. 
You know, we ain't about the glitz and the glam, you know? Ain't about the music videos, ain't about this and that and whatever, man. We just we just wanna give you the truth. That's that's what we command us to do, so that's what we out there doing. And you're not you're not, not you know packaging it up in a in a particular way just so you can get it. Or, you know, it can appeal to you because the Lord ain't really looking for guys like that, man. The guys the Lord looking for are the ones that just love the truth. Okay, you don't have to look a particular way. Doesn't matter how it looks. You know? Yeah, get this truth with a free, free, free pair of Nike. You know what I mean? So, you know, trying to trying to appease people with, with, with you know with other things, just so that you know they they'll you know take on this truth, man. That's not how we, that's not how we do you know how we do things, man. Right? So yeah, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving in wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits, right? And like I said their doctrine is a, is a giveaway, and and how. Now these guys act and how they, the congregation then acts, you know. And it doesn't matter that these these other group, these other camps they grow. Like, what does that really mean? It mean we know the Lord's gonna destroy a large portion of our people anyway. Everyone in Latin America that is not of the is gonna be destroyed anyhow. So it doesn't matter how big these groups are. <laughs> if the Lord ain't with them, man, they're gonna be destroyed, right? So you know, it doesn't matter that they're growing. Okay, the most I just collecting together to destroy them if that's the case, right? If these men ain't, ain't dealing with the truth, right? It says, you should know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringing forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit, right? So if these men ain't, ain't really got the truth, man, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to show. And that's why these other camps are looking stupid at the end of the day. Okay, especially around this old MOTB, you know, prophecy and you know the breakdowns of it you know these these guys man they're, they're clowns man they're, they're playing games okay which, which is obviously another red flag for us you know well, should, should be a red flag for you congregations man these guys are playing around because these these breakdowns that they're coming out with don't make no damn sense right and it is evident that every day that goes by you know it, it looks more and more and more like what we were saying it has been this whole time Okay, with the MOTB and the RFID, right? And now they're trying to make excuses. Oh, you know, you could take it, but, you know, you can still repent it if, if it was. Bro, stop lying. Stop lying. Right? There is no coming back after taking the MOTB, man. The Lord has got you marked for death. Okay, end of story. All right, and that's why it's so imperative to know what the mark of the beast is, man. But all these these groups giving you these doctrines to to allay your fears or allay the or or to try and dissuade from well, I was an apostle's breakdowns of the MOTB and other other breakdowns, right? Is is because you really you, you're there to, to you're there to set up as a snare unto unto your own people, man. Okay, you're gonna have them take the MOTB. You're gonna have them get destroyed. You're gonna have them comply uh, with the, with the governments and. And whatever. Hey, Yohanna was promoting the, the, the jump shot, right? <laughs> yeah, take it, take free. You know, and, and all this business. You know, and, and we're all seeing what's coming out of that now. Okay, all these mysterious explorations and that going on. You know, and we told you, man. Okay, but we told you, but we told you it weren't, you know, that itself wasn't the MLTB. Okay, but it, it is conditioning United to, to be putting things inside your body, man. In times of great crisis, right? Because that's what they made it. That's what they uh, made it be like, right? It was a global crisis, uh, but now it's fizzled into nothing. But now you got the repercussions of it coming afterwards. You know, so you know, you people are being uh, acclimatized to all that business when it comes down to, you know, rolling out the MLTB, man. And and these guys, your leaders, they're on board with it. So, you know, like I said, they're, they're, you know, these guys, you know, are selling you out, essentially, man. You know, that's what they are doing, right? But anyway, so a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. So, like I said, man, you know, you, you guys, you got your thing going on, but most are going to hew you down. All right? So, whereby their fruits, ye shall know them. All right, and this is why we know, uh, you know, well, 
we've done now to stay away from them in terms of the doctrine and that because it ain't right but you guys out there you know that are learning maybe you know it's a warning to you you know to really stay away from these camps you know, and if you're beginning your 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 you know your your journey on, on learning this truth man stay away from these other camps right because they'll do nothing but you know poison your mind essentially right because you're not grounded enough to really deal with the truth just yet and so you're gonna have lots of you know questions and, and doubts and stuff like that that you know it's saying all up in there man you're not gonna be able to get rid of you know so if you're learning you know stick stick to who you're learning from like stick to gms if it's you know because i said we got the truth you know here so you know stick with us but you know <laughs> there was an the apostle they were you know, they were talking about it a lot you know a while back about you guys at a uh, camp jumping man coming with some bug out questions man <laughs> but that's because you know you, you've been doing that fucking camp jumping and shit rather than just sticking with gms you got it all here man what do you, what do you need these other camp for you got it all here Oh, but I like a little bit of like, I like how they do something, you know, like like what they're saying here and this and that. Well, stay with them, innit? Keep doing what you're doing, man. You ain't going to get no clarity. Anyway. Um, it's Matthew 24, verse 24. It says, uh, For there shall arise false anointed and false prophets and shall shew great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Right? And this is what they're set up to do. That They're set up to deceive you know, even even when uh, knowingly or unknowingly, you know, you know, you got guys that know what they're doing, and you got guys that are just being, you know, moved in the spirit to 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 come against this truth, man. And the law gonna take them out anyway because they're being used for that purpose. You know, whether knowingly or unknowingly, right? They're still being set up to do that, right? And in Mark, it uses the word seduce as as opposed to, well, instead of deceive, right? And a lot of these camps that they they, sed they seduce, man. They 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 seduce with the gimmicks. You know, the rap part, the, the rap parties, <laughs> the rap videos, and 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 the you know the parties, the the Passover parties, and all this cookouts and all this stuff, the garments, you know, buy a wife, <laughs> all this shit. You know what I mean? It's it's all the gimmicks, man, and they they do it to seduce people away or into their congregation because it, hey, on on the on the you know, in comparison to us, man, we we just like. You know, things are kind of like, oh, dry, in, in, you know, for lack of words, right? Even though we're full of, full of the spirit and, and water and full of hydration, right? But it's not enough for these 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 clowns in the world because they need this gimmick stuff, man, because it, it's, it's likened to the world they already live in. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, 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 they're already in that world, man. They like this world. They're of the world. So when they see these other you know, Hebrews like cancer with the things of the world in it, it appeals to them, man. You know, but they're just, they're being suckered in, man. They're being seduced and, you know, it ain't going to lead to no salvation. Let's put it that way. Because that's what, you know, you, you join up to, man. Because you start, you know, you, the fear of God is put in you, man. You know, you better do your part. You know, you want to be safe, right? You better get out there, man. But the joining these camps ain't going to help you get, get to that salvation, man. Right? If you want the salvation, you know, then you need to learn the truth. Right? And then by the mercy of God, you know, you may receive, receive your salvation, man. But, you know, you ain't going to get that with these other camps. Okay, you're going to get sucked down that whole gimmickry, man. All right? But anyway, so for this shall arise false Christ, so false anointed and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Uh, I think I wanted to jump up, actually, afterwards. Yes, right? So Matthew 24 and verse 9. This is a uh, verse eight. Right? I said, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right. So we know that um, in the time to come, the great tribulation, man, people are going to turn on us, man. OK, friends, families, even brothers, man. And this truth. Right. But again, going back to Nate, Nate's a specific, you know, a specific, a specific case. Right. Being the fact that he's a leader of a, of a whole congregation of people, right? And so they should deliver you up to be afflicted. He's going to hand you over to the authorities, man. <laughs> when that time comes, man, he'll be, be busting out that, uh, what's that scripture, man? You know, that uh, obey, the, obey the powers scripture, you know, due martial law on it. And he's going he gonna to hand you over, man. <laughs> he'll be the right, just trust Esau, be fine. 
<laughs> you know, and you'll get put in the concentration camps. But anyway, this is, um, yeah. This is uh, verse 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. All right, so we know there's going to be people that are going to betray one another here, right? And shall hate one, one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Right, and Nate's, you know, Nate's potentially going to play his role in that. You know, let's say he, he takes a lot of the criteria of someone that's going to do this. All right. But he he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Sorry, I've, I've jumped to verse there. Verse 12. And because uh, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So we know that these people are going to have, you know, going to give no fucks in that time, man. It's going to be all out war out here, man. Okay, fight for survival settings. Okay, and anger and animosity, man. And they're going to direct it. At us You know A lot of it's going to be directed at us You know And because iniquity shall be abound The love of many shall wax cold But he that shall endure unto the end The same shall be saved Okay so we got to get through that Right And not buckle under the pressure Alright This verse uh, Matthew 10 and 16 says Behold I send you forth as sheep In the midst of wolves <laughs> Be ye therefore wise as serpents And harmless as doves all right, so we're not here to be aggressive, like you know, like we keep saying, man. Our, 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 our war is not a carnal warfare, man. It's a spiritual one, right? So we're not here being ignorant and and hot headed and aggressive, right? Because that's not our time, right? But we know that we're in the midst of wars. We're in the midst of our enemies. You know, we know we're, we're not friends with with the world. We know you know these people are not here to do us any favors like that, right? You know, we can't trust them, <laughs> you know, and so, you know, we walk cautiously, right? we walk cautiously in this world, man, okay, and we're not trying to, you know, like I said, kick, like, you know, kick the hornet's nest, man, it's like, you know, bear aggressive to every eater that you see walking down the street, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, this, that, that's not what we're meant to be doing, right, we're meant to be as, as wise as serpents and harmless as dust, so, you know, we read the situation and we deal with it appropriately, man, with wisdom, you know, you got, you got, you got yeah, had a bunch of J's doing that crazy, you know, that stupid shit, man. Driving down the highway, he sort of pulls you over. You think you ain't done nothing wrong, and you may or may not have done something wrong. Who knows, right? You know, you know what Esau's like it. But then you want to start talking about all oh, your your rights and your amendments, and start being stubborn and hard at it. Then you end up getting shot because you know you resisted. <laughs> like there was a way to deal with that that you could have just got on your way, innit? it? You know, yes, Esau's taking the piss. Yes, he shouldn't have done that, but he's in power. And he's gonna do that, and you got no power. Is it was it worth getting shot over, man? When you could have just, you know, he might give you a ticket. He might not have gave you a ticket, man. But you know, you could have left the situation alive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, being stubborn and unwise is is you know essentially cause of death. Just things like that, you know. You just learn, you know, learning how to deal with certain situations, man. You know, agree with your adversary, why he's in the way, all that type of stuff. You know, to 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 lessen the. The rough, the rough of Esau, man, because we know it's real, <laughs> right? And we just we got enough problems, man. We don't need extra problems. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, we are being as wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. All right, but we understand we're amongst wolves, right? Uh, this is from Jude chapter one verse four it says, "For there are certain men crept in unawares." Who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, right? So, <laughs> this is I mean, everything's preordained, man. Everything is set up in the spirit, right? Judas was always going to betray the Lord, man, right? So you're going to have brothers among among the, the flock that were always going to fail, and as, as, as bad as you know, as sad as it sounds, you know, you know, certain brothers like brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, you would, none of us would like. Any brothers that we stand side by side with to fall out, you know, or, or or become, you know, this this Judas type character, but but it's gonna happen, man, and it's set up to happen, you know, and we you know what we should, we, this is what this is what we should be thinking right now. We gotta pray that Lord, it ain't us, right? Because <laughs> it could be anybody at the end of the day. We don't know, right? And um, yeah, we just gotta pray that Lord don't take the spirit away from us. You know, they, 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 you know, they, so it's not us, you know, so we're not the ones that fall out at the end or become that, that betrayer or, or whatever, you know, we don't want that to be us, right? So yeah, we have to remember that, man, and, and pray 
for the Lord not to take our spirit away, man, because a hey, lot can do that. Because who, who, which one of us know, know our, our lot? You know, know our end. We don't. That's why we're all contending right now. You know, to 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 get out. You know, to to find our seat on the chariot somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, man. We you have to we have to keep praying and 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 hopefully, Lord willing, you know, we'll be delivered, man. And you know, Lord helps us endure through all of this, right? Anyways, um. It says, uh, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of, of God into this viciousness and denying the Holy Lord and our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And again, another red flag for Nate. Man, I took away the names of Yahweh Yahweh Shai and placed it with Most High and Christ Blessed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After my man did such a good video <laughs> on breaking down the names, he knows it very well, right? And yet he decided to get rid of it anyway. He decided not to make that focal point. All right, and now it's just most high and Christ blessed. That's you know, that's what he pushing. He ain't pushing the names of Yahweh why Yahweh was shy. Alright, so that's another red flag. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a red flag, man. And your whole you know, the whole congregation should be wary of you, man. Yeah, you're you're a suspicious character, man. Alright? You're a suspicious character. It's Jeremiah 9 verse 4 it says, Take ye heed every one of his neighbor and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will utterly supplant and every neighbor will walk with slanders. All right. So again, we're among scorpions, we're among wolves, right? Our, our people are uh, just, they ain't right. All right. But even, even still, even amongst those of us that understand that we're Hebrew Israelites, right? That we're Israelites. Um, yeah. As we as we found out over the years, as as it has manifested itself, that not every brother that you stand side by side with is ultimately a brother, man. You know, and this is why we have to be cautious, and circumspect, like not in a like, like I said, an overly you know negative way, but we do have to be, you know, so we have to pay attention to things. All right. Do we have to pay attention to things, man? Otherwise, you got brothers out there that have not got the right intention, and ain't got the right heart that will take advantage and and you know do all kinds of madness, man. And like I said, it's happened in the past, so best believe it'll happen <laughs> in this time, you know. So yeah, so take heed, take heed, heed every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother, for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. And they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies. They weary themselves to commit iniquity. All right. So I'll come back here in John, 1 John chapter 4 again. Sorry. Yeah, 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. Um, beloved, believe not every spirit, right? But try the spirits whether they are God of God, because they are, because many false prophets are gone out into the world, right? So, like I said, we you know we test the spirits of people, you know, how much they 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 are, uh, they really into this kind of thing, the, you know, the commitment. You know, if the brother you love really exists, man, the man does does charity, you know, like I say, he's doing the work, you know. Is a is a willing brother, you know, all that type of stuff, man. Reliable, dependable, you know. It's Ephesians five verse fifteen. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise. All right, redeem the time because the days are evil. Right, so a lot of shit's gonna be going on, man, and we have to just be on our toes, you know. Be aware of, the, of our surroundings and stuff, man. And like I said, that encompasses everything. You know, and that's and that's you know, that's part of being diligent, man. You know, because we know we're not in, you know, we're in dangerous times, man, and we're amongst wolves and red to tear, just like the scriptures speak about and prophesy about. We we're gonna have to deal with these things, man. Right, whether we're dealing with it now or, or dealing with it in the future, we're gonna have to be dealing with it. You know, it will happen. 
Okay. I'm just going to end it with this, right? One straight verse here. Matthew 22 and 14, right? So for many are called, but few are chosen, right? So there's a lot of lot of man's teaching and, and, you know, performing the calling as of this moment in time. But we know that the elect is a specific number, man. And, and not every necessary that you're standing side by side with is, is going to be that, you know? They may play a different role completely, man. Just like, like I said, just like Judas, he was part of the 12. He was one of the apostles. Well, would have been one of the, uh, the 12 apostles, man. But... His part to play in this was was not that of a, of an apostle, right? He got later replaced by Matthias, right? But to be the betrayer, right? And he, Judas saw everything, man. Judas was there with the Lord. He, he was with the Lord in the flesh, and right? saw the miracles, and yet still, he gave up the Lord, man. And that's not because necessarily that he wanted to, right? Because after my, my man did the deed, man, my man felt bad. Like he, <laughs> he were, you know, he went himself. <laughs> but it was, it was his lot. Yeah, that was what he was gonna be, man. And you know, that, that's what that's what it comes down to, isn't it? You know, whatever the law has got written for you is what you're gonna do, man. You know, because how, how after can you see all of that and still sell the law that, man? What for? For you know, from a few shekels, man. You know. Crazy, right? Because how can you deny it? Like, <laughs> you know, you you're you've been standing side by side with the Son of God, learning from Him directly, man. Like, come on, man, that's that's mad. You saw everything that went on, and yet, you know, you, you still did what you did. You know, and and you know, like I said, we're here now learning this truth under the apostles and that, right? And you know, we've learned so much, right? And we've, you know, depending on how long you've been in this thing, you witness, you witness things, right? And you see things in the world and the things that are going on. You, you can, you can feel everything that's happening through the scriptures, man. Your, your faith is, you know, should be firm in, in, you know, what's going on, right? And yet, to still de depart from that and then decide that I ain't gonna do that or I don't believe in it anymore, or whatever. It's just, and it, it's happened to guys, and this is what I'm saying. That's why we gotta pray that the Lord don't take the spirit away from us, man. You know, we want to pray that we're of the elect, that the Lord is going to keep that spirit upon us, man, to, to continue seeing, man, to continue believing, to have that that strength, that faith, you know, that resolve to endure all these things that are going to come upon us, man. You know, not to, you know, give it all up, you know, in, 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 um, what's the word, man? In exchange for some type of false safety, man. Because, you know, he's still going to try and get at people. You know, if you get caught or, or whatever, man. Man, might interrogate you. Try and get you to give up, you know, brothers and all that kind of stuff. And, he, you know, they're going to promise you safety, right? Quote, quote, safety or whatever. Protection, whatever. You know. Or you can look good in the new world order. <laughs> Inside joke, right? You know, they might offer you shit. Um... But, you know, you're going to sell everybody out for, for a lie. Because he's so lying. He ain't winning. So everything everything comes out of his mouth is a damn fucking lie. He ain't winning. He can't offer you shit. Right? But, again, it, it's it's not down to us. It's down to the Spirit. What the Spirit got you doing in that moment in time, man. So, like I said, we just got to pray and fear the Heavenly Father. You know? That, um, you know, that's not our lot, you know? But, Lord willing, this is edifying video. I'm going to end it here. And um, I'll uh, you know, catch up with you, bros. This is the next video, man. So, till next time, I say shalom.